everyone. Since we're going to be out of school for a couple of weeks, I wanted to make sure that you still got in some math while you're at home. So I went to the library, stacked up on a ton of math books, and I thought I'd hop on here every day to maybe read a math book to you or do a math activity or other math game. So I hope you tune in. I found books from grades pre-K all the way up through fifth or sixth grade. So I was gonna start out with one for the younger kids, but today is a very special day. It's called Pi Day. It's very near and dear to my heart, like all math teachers, and I'm not gonna tell you yet why today, March 14th, is Pi Day. Let's read the book and then see if you can figure it out by yourself. If not, I'll tell you. So here's our first book. It's called Happy Pi Day to You, all about measuring circles. It's actually not by Dr. Seuss, even though you see the cat in the hat there. That's because it's part of the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library. But this book was actually written by Bonnie Worth. Hooray for Pi Day. Would you like to find out just what this day means? What Pi Day is about? It's all about circles and measuring fun. So put on your pie hats. Let's have some fun. We begin with a circle, the shape of a pie. Look around you and name all the circles you spy. Yes, circles surround us wherever we are, from pennies to pizzas to wheels on a car. Some circles we see look pretty flat, but other ones look a bit different than that. You'll find circles in cylinders, like this tube that is blue, and spheres, like this ball, have a circle shape Two. To draw a flat circle, one of my best tricks, all you need is some string and a couple of sticks. Tie the string to two sticks. Now plant one on the ground. Use the other to poke lots of dots all around. A circle is a shape made of dot after dot, equal distance away from one middle spot. Every dot around the circle is the same distance from the middle spot. <coughs> Link the dots and you'll get a word of great size. Say circumference. Can you try it? Circumference. It may take a few tries. That's the circumference. Cut the circle in half with a single straight line. That line is called diameter. Can you draw one like mine? The length of the string there beneath Sally's hand measures half the diameter. Do you understand? We call this length radius. Mark it with an R. Are you getting all this? Are you with me so far? Now take the circumference, oh, let's call it C. Okay, there's the circumference. And divide by diameter, which we will call D. How do we divide? You're a smart one to ask. I have a new trick that will help with the task. Take a tube made of cardboard, just like this one, and a wide piece of ribbon and your marking pen. Wrap the ribbon round the tube and mark the length with a C. So wrap it once around the tube and cut. Then lay it across the top and mark that length with a D. Measure out three D lengths, and then you will see. Three folds of D lengths plus a bit more equals C. No matter what size your tube is, I'll bet three lengths plus a bit more is the answer you'll get. C divided by D equals three whole times plus a bit. That's division for you. You can take it from us. This number that is a bit more than three is long, so we give it a short name, you see. We call it pi, a name short and sweet. Here's pi, three and one, four, one, five, nine. It goes on and on and on, because writing it out is a difficult feat. This number goes on and on, as you see. In fact, it goes until, what do you think? infinity. Another name that folks have used to call pi is irrational or crazy, and now you know why. It's the number that never stops. 
We can spell the word pie with a P and an I, or else use a mark. Let's give it a try. The mark looks like this. Or my earring. It's from long, long ago. It's the Greek letter pi, a good symbol to know. Symbols are marks that you see all around that stand for a thing or an action or sound. And here they have the pie toss game. You can play this at home if you have the materials. Draw four lines that are each two toothpicks lengths across. Randomly scatter the toothpicks. Separate and count all of the toothpicks touching a line. Then divide the total number of toothpicks by the number of toothpicks touching a line. The result closest to pi, which is about 3.14, wins. C divided by D is a theorem, we say. What's that, you ask? I'll explain, if I may. Theorem's a word that smart people like you can use to describe an idea that is true. C divided by D equals pi, as you see. Forever and always, this always will be. On Pi Day, it is a good bit of fun to honor Pi pioneers and all they have done. Did pe cave people measure? They took a wild guess. I do that myself sometimes, I'll confess. When people began to build and to trade, universal measurements had to be made. A universal measurement, as I understand, is one that is shared throughout the land. Egyptians measured with cubits, a unit that goes from middle fingertips to the crease of elbows. But since arm lengths differed, they learned the neat trick of making a universal measuring stick. Hmm, that stick looks familiar. Using pi to measure, they built pyramids for tombs with secret passageways and underground rooms. There's a cubit, which was anyone's finger to their elbow, and here's a cubit stick, which was the same no matter how long or short your arm was. In 250 BC, a Greek good at math put on his pie hat and went down the pie path. Ancient Greeks loved their circles. Using pi, they built lots of arches and arenas in big public spots. There's Archimedes, the Greek man who used pi a lot. It's people like all of these who gave Pi its start. They've helped us to be so much smarter than smart. We're feeling so smart and so happy, I'll say, to one and to all, thank you, Pi Pioneers. Have a happy Pi Day. The end. So again, that was Happy Pi Day to You by Bonnie Worth. And if you didn't figure out why March 14th is Pi Day, I'll show you a hint. Today's date, March 14th, can be written as 3 slash 14. And look at the beginning of Pi, 3.14. So there you go. Happy Pi Day to everyone. If you have the materials and any adults at home are willing to let you try, feel free to either measure the circumference and diameter of a tube and see if you can divide to figure out pi, or you can play the pie toothpicking. Have a great day. We wish you well. Hope to see you soon.